Hi, my name is Peter, and I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how you can use Yablo inside Microsoft Outlook. Now here's the thing with Outlook. Your inbox can get a mess pretty quickly. You have all those new emails coming in, but then you typically also have a bunch of older emails that sit there in your inbox because you still need to reply to them, read them, or take some other action. And you risk that you lose track of those emails because they get buried under all those new incoming emails. So how do you keep track of those emails? Well, we see people marking these emails on red again so that they don't lose track of them or they flag emails or move them into a separate folder. But that just feels like one hack after another. And we think there is a better way. Now imagine you could create a visual board where you could organize all your pending emails. You could see at a glance all emails you need to reply to, all emails you need to read, all emails that, are, that you are already working on, and so forth. Now, this is exactly what Diablo brings to the table. Now, let me first show you what this board looks like in Diablo. And afterwards, I'm going to show you how you can use this board to stay on top of your emails. Now, once you have Diablo installed in Outlook, you will see a new button in your toolbar. Simply hit this button and the Diablo application will open on the right side of your screen. Now, let's go to my inbox in Diablo first, because that will open your own private board. As you can see, all my pending emails are laid out as cards on this board. I can immediately see all emails I need to reply to, all emails I still need to read, and all emails I need to take further action on. Now, you can fully customize your board. So if you have a different workflow, you can simply change the lists that are being used on your board. Now, imagine that you often, for example, need to sign documents that you get in attachment. You could, for example, create an additional list to your board, call it sign documents. And then you could just move your email conversations by drag and drop into that new list. You can organize your board in various ways. For example, also by priority. So if you click on board view, you can switch your board to organize your email conversations by priority. Not all emails are equally urgent. So you might want to assign a priority to each conversation to make sure that you focus on the most urgent ones first. Now, if I want to see all emails I need to reply to by priority, I can add an additional filter to my board. So for example, I can say, only show me the uh, email conversations that are in my list uh, to reply. And that way, I just have one single overview of all my emails I need to reply to organized by priority. If I click on a card, I see the full email conversation. Note that these cards are a live representation of your email thread. So when new replies are coming in, they appear here as well. You can reply to conversations right from your board, simply hitting the reply button. Once you're done, you simply hit this checkbox to close the conversation and it will be removed from your board. Now, let me show you a few examples of how you can work with your board to stay on top of your emails. So for example, I received this email from Amanda to ask to set up a meeting to discuss a possible new opportunity. I don't have time right now to immediately answer this email, so I'm going to add this to my board in Yablo. I can do that just by clicking the Add Email to Yablo button and then select the list I would like to add this email to. In this case, I'm going to add the email to the to reply list. Now, if you look at the uh, Yablo application, you also see a small dashboard at the bottom of the uh, application, which helps you to keep track of all your pending emails. So for example, you see all the lists that you created on your board, 
And for example, you can immediately see that uh, in this case, I have three emails left that I need to reply. Now, this email is about a big opportunity. So I want to mark this conversation as urgent. So I can simply do that by clicking the priority button and then select urgent from my options. Also, if you look at the dashboard, you can immediately see that in this case, I have two pending emails that I marked as urgent. So when I have time to reply to emails, I simply click on the to reply list in my dashboard and I immediately get an overview of all emails I need to reply to. I don't have to search in Outlook. It's right there in front of me. Now, here's a great thing when you reply to emails from your board in Yablo. So let me open this email conversation and then click uh, reply. You can work with message templates to quickly reply to messages. In this case, Amanda is asking to set up a meeting. As I get these kind of requests often, I created a template for this. So if I click the template button, I can select my meeting request template from my library. If I do that, my message gets populated automatically. Now templates are a great way to quickly answer repetitive questions. It will save you a ton of time. Now I could simply send this message, but I want to make sure that I, that I get a reply from Amanda. So I can expand my send button and then select the send and set reminder uh, option. If I don't get a reply from Amanda before a selected time, for example, and uh, tomorrow evening, Yablo will remind me so that I can follow up with her. Let me show you another example. I had this email that was sent to a group or distribution list, meaning that it was not only sent to me, but to some other colleagues as well. How do you know who is taking ownership? You risk that you start working on this email with multiple colleagues or that no one takes ownership. You no longer have this problem with Diablo. So what do you do? Well, first of all, you simply add this email to Yablo. I'm going to add it again to my to reply list. So once that's done, I can use the assign button to set ownership uh, on this email. So for example, I could assign this email conversation to myself. And the great thing is that whenever my colleagues open the same email in their own inbox, they immediately see that I took ownership. So there's no confusion about that. Now, imagine that something comes up and I'm not able to work on this email. So what do I do? Well, first of all, let's open this email uh, in Diablo. Typically, you would start forwarding this email to colleagues to check if they can take over this email. With Diablo, you can simply use comments to have internal discussions without kicking off new email threads. So, for example, you could mention a colleague, in this case, for example, Rachel, and then ask her, can you take ownership of this one? So there you go. And the great thing is that comments are just posted in line with the original uh, email conversation. Um, of course, you can wait on the answer from, uh, from Rachel, um, but if she agrees, then you can just um, delegate the email conversation to Rachel. It's that simple. Okay, one last example. I received this email in my inbox from Will with a complaint about an invoice. I know this is not something that I can resolve on my own. I need to get the support team involved. Traditionally, I would forward the email to the support team, creating separate email threads, and it would be very hard for me to follow up on this complaint. Let me show you how you can handle this case with Diablo. Well, first, let me add this email to Diablo. I'm not going to add it to one of my own lists, but I want to share this email with the support team. 
So I'm going to pick the last option. In Yablo, you can set up inboxes for the different teams in your organization. So for example, the marketing team, operations team, but of course the support team as well. So I'm going to pick that option. I'm not going to assign this conversation to someone because I don't know who from the support team will take ownership. Um, but I'm going to add a due date to this conversation. I want to make sure that this complaint gets resolved, for example, by um, tomorrow evening. So I'm going to set that uh, as a due date and then hit add email uh, to, to add the email to, to Yablo. Note that this is fundamentally different from forwarding emails. When you forward an email, you're creating a separate copy. With Diablo, we're all working on one single copy of the conversation. So everyone is always on the same page. Now let's open that conversation. A typical problem is that a lot of these incoming emails have a very generic subject, like in this case, an um, incorrect invoice. If you're dealing with a lot of emails, these kinds of subjects are not very descriptive. In Diablo, you can rename a subject so that it makes more sense for you and your team. So you could change the subject to, for example, include the invoice number. So let's change it to invoice and then copy paste the invoice number. Also, the complaint is about a problem with the express delivery rate. So I'm going to add that to the subject as well. So don't worry, your recipient will still see the original subject when you, re uh, when you reply. Renaming is purely for your own convenience. I also want to share some additional information uh, with the support team. For example, I have the original order and I want to add that to the conversation as well. So let's take the order and then just use um, drag and drop um, to move that onto my conversation. Um, I can also post, uh, post a, a short message. Um, something like this. And then post it as a comment uh, to my conversation. This email is also from an important customer. So I want to follow along to stay, on, uh, to stay up to date on this case. Now, traditionally, I had to ask the support team to add me and copy and then pray that everyone keeps me in the loop. Now, this is a thing of the past with Diablo. With Diablo, you can decide for yourself whether you would like to stay in the loop for this conversation without having to rely on others. If you click on the heart button, you can add yourself as a follower uh, to this uh, conversation. Just like that. Um, and that way, Yablo will keep you informed um, on any important activity uh, on this conversation. And it doesn't matter whether the support team adds you and copy, yes or no, you're always up to date on this specific case. Now, let's have a look at how this looks like for the support team, as they are using Yablo as well. So I'm going to switch to um, the support team. So I'm currently signed in as Sam from the support team. All open conversations of that support team are organized on a board as well. This time organized by owner. All members of the support team have access to the same board. So for example, as Sam, I see that there's a new incoming message. So let's open this one. So I see that, uh, I see all the details of that conversation I see the subject that was changed. Um, I see the due date um, that was added. Of course, I see the original message uh, from the customer, but also the additional information uh, that was shared uh, by Peter. Now, let's assign this conversation to me so that everyone in my team knows that I'm taking ownership. Just like that. I'm also going to reply to Peter um, so that he knows that I'm working on it. So, um, and I can also uh, simply reply to the customer, even though I never received the initial uh, email, just by clicking uh, reply. 
I'm not going to fully compose the message. Let's go. Let's get back to Peter. So back to Outlook. So I'm signed in again as, as Peter. So if I look at the conversation, I can see that Sam has taken ownership. So if I need to get in touch with the support team, I know who is responsible uh, for this case. I also see the comment uh, from Sam, and I also see that Sam has started uh, writing a reply uh, to the customer. I showed you how you can share an email from your inbox with the support team. But typically, customers can reach your support team directly as well. For example, by sending an email to a shared mailbox, support at. How do you make sure that emails sent to the support mailbox end up automatically on the board of your support team as well? Let me show you how that works. So if you scroll down, you can open um, your support inbox. Um, if you go to settings and then navigate to channels, you can connect to different communication channels that your customers are using to get in touch with your support team. In this case, we not only connected a shared mailbox, but also connected a phone number so that customers can reach us by SMS as well. So every time a customer sends a message to our support email address or to our phone number, that message appears as a card on our board and the support team can take action. And it's completely transparent for them whether they are replying by email or SMS. So this is Diablo for Outlook in a nutshell. It puts structure to your unstructured inbox and takes collaborating with your team on emails to a whole new level. We put a lot of effort into Diablo and we're very proud of it. We think you will like it too.